this is the last video in the series on the last of us room scene and i'm going to show you my final renders in just a moment but i wanted to show you a couple of things that i've done to finish up the image and one of the things that i did is i put some leaves on the floor uh, to act as debris and so what i did is i went out today and i took some photographs of leaves it was great weather for it and the leaves were nice and and uh, sort of decaying i got some different colors and what i did is i took the leaf and then i just brought it into gimp and i cut most of the outline out and i made it into a transparent png and then i came back into blender and i did this image images as planes and I loaded in my leaf image. So if I look at that, there we go. Then I came in and I trimmed off a little bit of it. So let's just drag an edge loop down here. This part wasn't absolutely necessary, but I just wanted to make it a little, a little bit more uh, compact. So I took all these faces and I deleted them. Okay, and I took this guy and I brought it out here. And I did a few different versions of this, but I added some edge loops like this. And then I came in in vertex selection and I selected a piece of it and went to proportional editing. And I bent it a little bit. That kind of a thing. Just do, do whatever to make it look not quite as flat. With that done, I selected the leaf and then shift select there, press the space bar and I search for scatter. Select there, I'm up here. I could then change the size, change some of the parameters and then just do something like that and I had some leaves on here. I'll go in here, I'll turn off proportional editing, I'll go to individual origins, S, scale, and if I just focus on this, that, I had a pile of leaves. So I used the scatter uh, plugin that comes with Blender. All right, there are lots of ways to do this, including geometry nodes or some other add-ons, but that's what I did. And I had a couple of variations of leaves so I could get some different color. The other thing you can do is you can come in to this. And as you bring in images as planes, you get this. You could pull this out and then you can do some color variations here. And one of the things that I did was I added a gamma there and you could adjust the color. If I did that, you could see the other colors coming through. And I had a pile of sort of decaying leaves. Okay, so that's one thing that I did. Um, I put down a typical concrete material in Substance Painter. I've done lots of uh, lots of floor materials, and so uh, that was pretty standard. Uh, I also did a pretty standard uh, wall here, and I'll show you here in Substance Painter. And I used the smart material that I created when I did the portal in one of my dungeon scenes. So I reused that smart material. I may have made a few changes here. Now, I made this material when I did that dungeon scene with the, the tentacles and then coming out and grabbing the, the jail do cell doors. I'll link you to that if you haven't seen that and you're interested. And I may have put a few other details in here. Um, and so, but the, the thing that I wanted to show you that I think is a little bit more interesting was uh, to do the, the sort of cut in the wall. Um, what I did was came up here and I, I want to use transparency. I decided I would do it that way. So come up here to the shader 
switch this to PBR metallic roughness with alpha blending. So I needed to do that. And I also needed to add an opacity channel here because there is no opacity channel. So I'll come up here to the plus and put down opacity. Create a fill layer. Added a black mask. I turned on just opacity and I brought it down. Come over to the black mask. So I can cut that out if I want to here. Let's let's turn on uh, anti-aliasing. And come to my brushes and choose. I'll try a dirt brush. Let's see. We'll just do we'll just do anything for now. Try that one. Try that one. Now you can see through that. Let's come to up here, turn the environment on. So that's what I did to create a hole through there. So you can do whatever, you can use whatever brush you want and uh, create some kind of a, of a break. Now if I come over here and add height to this, sorry, and opacity and height, I bring that up, you can start to get some kind of an edge there and if I, let's see, let's add another layer. And let's use just height. You get some interesting effects. All right, so that's the kind of thing that I did to create that. Okay, so let's go have a look now at my final images. This is the first image, and you can see the cut through there. You can see a post right here, and there are some planks of wood in behind there. And this is the overall scene, similar to the uh, original angle. I've got the couches in here, leaves, carpet, the stereo system. I've got the, the two mirrors. This one was going to be bent. I've, I've bent the, uh, the lamp shades. This is actually even bent a little bit. I've adjusted the speakers a little bit. And so that is my, my first image. Uh, it has been post processed, um, a little bit in GIMP and more in, um, a software called Topaz Studio. Here's another view of the scene. Again, you can see the, the break in the wall and the various uh, details. Uh, this is a rendered in, in Eevee. So, you know, it, it's, it doesn't look overly realistic and I, I don't want it to. I want it to sort of look almost lo-fi a little bit. Okay, so there's pretty much, I model pretty much everything for you in this, you know, and, and then and textured most of it. And I'm just talking about the fact that I just added a basic concrete floor and I, I, I tweaked it a little bit, the walls, and, and that's that. All right, there's one more image and it's just slightly different, which is just a little bit more colorful for those people who prefer a brighter scene. Now you can really see the planks. And again, this is also post-processed to give this uh, this colored kind of effect. There are obviously things that I would do different next time, and that's part of the learning process. Uh, I'm not a pro at this by any means. Uh, I do intend to do more of these uh, computer game scenes, and I think I will probably stick with The Last of Us just for a little while, just because practice makes perfect. <laughs> I don't know that I'll ever achieve perfect. But uh, by sticking in the same genre, 
Uh, I can repeat some of the same techniques, some of the similar styles of modeling and, and texturing, and I can just work on that and try to get better. Now, really, I probably would only do another one or two more of the same, so I really won't get that much better at it. It'll just be doing more of the same. But I do enjoy it, and hopefully I'll get a similar result, if not slightly better. I do have some ideas for some things such as holes and cracks, and uh, those are some major things that, uh, that could be worked on for me. So um, that is it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Otherwise, if you've been here since the beginning, I think the first, the first video was creating this lamp. Uh, thank you very much for persevering uh, with me. And uh, I'm super glad to have you coming around and, uh, and watching me do this and then trying to do some stuff uh, yourself or doing something different, but hopefully being uh, a little inspired or motivated to do it. Um, yeah, and uh, more of the same and more different ideas of things to do coming up in the near future. So please subscribe to the channel and support uh, my efforts here to keep this going and uh, I will be back very soon with more of the same. Thanks very much and take care.